guys have been asking for this for a long time. You want to see my mod list, see how I'm playing this game. Uh, right now, this is an EMB running with a lot of texture mods. Uh, I'm running a 7970 right now. The GTX 780 doesn't work so well because um, there's some bugs with the uh, EMB and the NVIDIA drivers uh, currently. So until they fix that, the 7 Series graphics cards and the EMB settings like the sun glare, not going to work together. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at my different mods, and then we'll come back and see how some of them look in the game. The first thing I want to do is go through all the essential mods. Uh, the essential mods cover mostly textures and uh, just UI tweaks, but the immersive mods, that's going to be the next part of the video. Um, it's going to be all the same video, but you're going to want to watch through these because I've got another set of tabs, and it's all the immersive mods. So those are the ones that really make my game. But first off, the most important mod, the most downloaded mod, Sky UI, it um, removes the consoleitis. Very important to have Sky UI. I also use better sorting. Uh, this really helps because let's say you have 90 different types of arrows. Well, instead of them being uh, D for dwarven, E for ebony, G for glass, S for steel, it's um, they add arrow to the front of all of them, and then it's easy to uh, find them. It does that with all the different things like potions and whatnot. Um, over here we have ingots. There you go. It's nice. Then I use the uh, Texture Pack Combiner, and I've gone through and added most of the textures in the Texture Pack Combiner. This is a massive, massive mod that combines many, many different uh, texture packs. This is not going to be a tutorial on this because this would be an hour long. But uh, I do use this, and I also compress the textures a little bit, um, and it does help with performance. I don't use all of the things in the texture pack combiner. I actually overwrite some of those files with textures that I like better that are not supported by it. But it's a really good base to start with. Uh, this is what I use for the male faces. I use the more rugged version. I'm not sure if it's on here or not. A rugged version. And I've got to, also, I do have like um, better faces or something version too that I'm not going to talk about in this video. All of my mods are going to be listed um, on techsyndicate.com. So just click on the link on the screen and it'll take you there. Now, I love uh, the mods from this particular modder, Ural. Those snow footprints look amazing, don't they? I like a lot of his mods, so I ended up using a lot of them. His ice, um, I like the way it looks better than others, even if it's not as realistic as some. It's nice, so I'm using his ice. I decided not to use his mountains. I'm using some different ones. Uh, his snow is nice. Actually, very nice. I'm using his circlets. Um... This is actually nice, fine air, fine hair. So a lot of stuff, snowflakes, alternate smoke. He has a lot of mods, and they're all very good. It's fine hair there. See, it just makes it a little bit better than vanilla, but not that much different. I also use Apache hair, but that one's a little bit frou-frou. This is my favorite map replacement. It's uh, just kind of vanilla, but, you know, nice roads. It's a little better than vanilla because it's higher quality. And I like the, um, the medium born, a medium born here. Lots of weapons and uh, armor retextures and, and new types of armor, I guess. I've grabbed the armors, the unique items, and the weapons, all three. A lot of fun items there. Um, the elves, I didn't like the texture on them, so I redid the texture. I'm also an elf. Um, playing a wood elf in this one. Mad crazy with archery. It supports men, too. There's the men. Uh, this is pretty cool. It adds um, frost giants to the mountains. They're basically the same as a regular giant, but the frost giants. Friendly creatures. Some creatures shouldn't attack you. It doesn't make any sense. So, yeah. More weapon mods. Heavy armory. New weapons. This is my favorite night sky. That's the enhanced Skyrim night, which a lot of people use. I prefer the HLP night sky quite a bit better and then there's the retail and modded immersive armors this is the best mo armor mod out there adds a lot of character to the game I highly recommend this one if it would ever open and show some pictures oh, there's some pictures there yeah they're all pretty pretty epic moon path to elsewhere um, that adds a lot of content onto the game it's like a separate section of the game it's interesting if you're in the mood to go check out some deserts and other environments like that, check it out. It does feel quite a bit different than Vanilla Skyrim, just in the sense that you're extremely limited in where you can go. It's very uh, linear area, and there's a lot of walls. 
morning fogs just adds fog on the streams and stuff like that and the rivers lakes it's nice thinner torch fits in your hand better that just helps me be yeah, see look at look at that clipping right there that fits in your hand better open face guard helmets this adds a lot of character to the game now that now you can see who you're talking to there's a few different varieties as well quiet dungeons I'm using this in conjunction with some other mods but there's always this hum inside the dungeons like this wind sound it gets rid of that and makes me happy all right this is one of my favorite mods in the game the uh, flora overhaul from vert vert does has done flora overhaul mods for uh, you you name the game he's probably done a flora overhaul mod he even did a uh, flora overhaul for system shock 2 summer edition can really hit your frame rate so be careful has a lot of interesting vegetation redoes a lot of it and you can go in there and grab lots of different files if you click on download manual you'll see lots of different files to grab so different pine trees darker bushes just a uh, better armor for the storm cloaks I like it looks almost Scottish now here are the rock textures that I use they're really pretty yes look at those I'm currently using the uh, superior rocks in the light gray flavor because I think it looks more like vanilla but it just adds a lot of nice texture but you can pick the one that you like or some light gray ones just get that mad depth of field depth of field going on look at that texture and I actually uh, just grabbed the 2k version not the 4k version and it looks just fine to me The 4k really is just going to eat up more video memory than you need ultimate HD fire effects this really works with EMB if you have EMB it's gonna work if you don't not really but look at the freaking difference you have to see it in action in fact I'll put it on the screen I guess yes it's very nice uh, ultimate HD torch it's just a better torch using the fancy fire effects but again I believe this uses EMB I have to double check but yeah all right visible windows just makes the windows look a little better and then you can also if you're running an EMB or something you can download a lower glow version water this is the ultimate water mod uh, there's also pure waters that some people argue is better I like this one in conjunction with some particle effects in, in EMB also you can add vegetation under the water let's see if there's a picture of that yeah whatever get the unofficial Skyrim patch there's an unofficial Dragonborn and Dawnguard patch as well so grab all of those and uh, keep up to date it's good to track the ones like this to keep up to date all right, so that's that now let's look at the immersion mods I love immersive things all right here's how we stay immersed first off the immersive HUD the immersive HUD gets rid of everything and that's not gonna be there of course Gets rid of everything unless you need it whenever you get into a fight um, your health meter will come up and the health meter their health meter will come up when you run your stamina bar will appear and then you can set a button to toggle your compass I wish that there was a way to make everything disappear all the time except for your compass and that'll only be a toggle but that would be nice climates of Tamriel is what I'm using for my weathers and uh, lighting and also audio there's a lot of sounds I use a lot of different things for audio uh, this one is just really nice and I'm using it also in conjunction with my EMB Make sure you get the dawn guard patch you can get the sounds get the winter edition if you want to like be a little colder why not i'm also using this you can stack these these do work together uh realistic lighting overhaul it really helps the lighting indoors makes the light sources more realistic adds better shadows instead of everything inside just kind of had this ambient light that sometimes wasn't coming from anywhere this makes the light really w work more based upon the light sources supreme storms this works with climates of tamriel if you grab the right version I'm also using Minty's Lightning Mod. It just adds lightning strikes, and they're lethal, so, you know, got to watch for those. This should, uh, well, I guess I have a sound section, but yeah, better swing sound. It just sounds better. Birds and Flocks um, adds birds everywhere. And make sure you download uh, the Hearthfire Edition Cleaned. Download that version if you have Hearthfire, uh, along with the, the top version here. First off, I want to talk about Frostfall. Now, Frostfall does a lot. Pistol can tell you all about this one, and she will in her video, so I recommend that you watch that video. Uh, but this one adds a ton to uh, Skyrim. You can catch hypothermia, you have to camp, 
and you have to fight for survival in the cold weather. Uh, you'll start freezing to death if you're not careful. If you get wet, you know, you can, it'll say like you're, you're drenched in the, in the rain. The rain actually has an effect on you. And also the clothing has an effect. If you're wearing a heavy robe or something, um, that'll be better than running around naked. And there's the camping uh, mod as well. This works together with Frostfall. You set up camp. You can build your build a fire, sleep for the night. It's really nice. But again, uh, Pistol will tell you more about those. And I use this in conjunction with Cloaks of Skyrim. And I've also got Winter is Coming Cloaks, but uh, I install um, Winter is Coming Cloaks after this with a compatibility patch. I believe there's one. For, for Hoods HD, yeah. Bandoliers, bags, pouches, add more stuff. You know, more stuff for you to put stuff in. Put stuff in stuff? Yes, do it. Well, that guy's head come, came off by... What the hell is that? Looks like a Kuma, except an Argonian. Argonian Akuma. This is actually a pretty big uh, dialogue overhaul. So, lots of lots of things going on here. I quite recommend it for immersion. And you know what? I like these bandit camps everywhere. They're kind of fun. And I think the world should be populated with lots of bandit camps. So this one adds a lot more bandit camps. I'm also using several other mods. If you look on the website, you'll see all the other ones. Uh, yeah, if you're going to have an immersive game, it doesn't make any sense if children don't die when you hit them. It's kind of weird. If you just hit them and they just go, oh no, stop and run. Lanterns of Skyrim. You can put lanterns all over Skyrim. I like this one a lot, but you have to make sure that you download more than just the main file or else all the lanterns will be red. You'll have to download a main file and then some other files and then you can go into your uh, Skyrim UI and, and change things. More village animals. You put little animals all over the village. This one actually can hit your frame rate quite a bit. Um, I've noticed if there's sometimes it's just too many animals around. So if you want more animals, try it out. Animals all over village, dogs and goats and sheep and whatever. Antelope? No, no antelope. Player like head tracking makes sense to me, so I added it. I also use Sounds of Skyrim. Uh, this does work with the uh, Climates of Tamriel. This does work with Climates of Tamriel, but you'll need to download the compatibility patches and everything to make sure it works. There's more of those. You can also download this for the volume sliders. Smooth blade drawn and sheath. I like this sound effect a lot. You'll hear it when I play the game. Fantasy Music Overhaul. I'm just downloading this one today. Uh, it adds a lot of different music to the game for different situations. I was going to turn the music off entirely, but now I'm kind of curious to see what these guys came up with. It doesn't replace the vanilla ones unless you tell it to. You can do that, or you can uh, add these in addition to, van to the vanilla. And some of you guys that play this for three or 400 hours are going to run out of songs pretty quickly. So this is going to add a lot of new songs. We're talking like, you know, 100 and something new songs, 150, 160 new songs. Combat mods. First thing, no spinning death animation. That was just completely silly and ridiculous. And realistic ragdolls. Very handy. Yes, fly. Ragdolls fly. Sprint and jump. This is not exactly uh, combat, but when you're sprinting, you should be able to jump. And this just makes sense to me, so I grabbed it. Um, this this combat mod is a lot of fun. It, it, you know, when you hit someone really hard, they stagger. You can be staggered. Uh, it just makes the combat quite a bit better. I mean, we're not talking like chivalry here, but um, it's better, way better than the vanilla combat. I'm using a Heartbreaker, a kill move mod to add, you know, some kill moves to the game. And I'm also using the Dance of Death. These two work together. They, they can work together. For my blood textures, I'm using enhanced blood textures as opposed to Crimson Tide. I like Crimson Tide. There's a lot of blood in it. Uh, but I mean, I've been going back and forth, and I think I like this one better. It seems to be a bit more realistic. Locational damage. Just what it says. It is. You hit someone in the head, it hurts more than if you hit them in the hand. Uh, me and my, uh, you know, sound effects. Weapons of the Third Era. These are really cool weapons. From the Third Era, yes. I was making my own EMB, and I liked it a lot. And then the new EMB came out, the new EMB uh, DLL file. And you just go here to get the EMB files. You go here. Oh no. Download. I'll give you a quick overview of the EMB. You go to the EMB website. Go to Skyrim. And you download the version that your EMB that you're downloading wants. I'm trying to use this version because it um, is much better as far as memory management goes. You'll need to go into your INI file and change a few things. 
the most important thing to change is um oh there it is right there you may have to add this to the top of your skyrim pref.ini file which is located inside your documents my games skyrim and you'll see it there so that's very important here's the emb that i'm using and excuse all the stupidity this guy is obviously never seen a real girl before because he's got real women i mean he's got these fake women everywhere but um i'm using his emb slightly modified to my own taste but not really that modified very slightly modified and i quite like it and i'm using uh, the simple depth of field I like that one best uh, autofocus tends to go crazy a little bit too much too often that is no nighttime pictures i'll show you what this looks like in the nighttime with all of my different mods. Right, here we are at nighttime. Alright, let's let the uh, sun come up, shall we? Right, there's the sun. Should have some god rays coming through here. Now, I was not getting these god rays with the uh, 780, not at all. Let's give it another hour, get a little higher in the sky. There we go. Yeah. Oh, wolves. Jesus Christ, where'd they come from? Oh, way over his head. I'm just goofing off right now. Right in the back. The other one's gonna be so mad. Oh, these guys are mad. Well, uh, there's one of the ice giants right there. That'll piss him off. Yeah, you don't want to mess with these frost giants. Oh god. That was weird. Whoa! What the f I think this cloud mod is one of the best ideas, um, but there's a lot of issues going on here. Now, first off, we've got a lot of weird popping going on. When you first install it, all the clouds kind of start in one spot and then move out, and it hits your frame rate pretty hard. Yeah, I'm not doing so hot with the frame rate. It will smooth out a little bit, but it's still too much of a frame uh, hit for me. I like what it does with the sunlight. Let's wait a little while, but also notice Wherever there are clouds, take a look at those trees there. We get weird white lines around the edges of the trees because the trees are reacting to the sky and not the clouds. At least that's what I think's going on here. This is a particle effect up there. Yeah, see the... Looks pretty cool. Let's wait a little while. All right, so we got clouds. So they kind of When you look up at them, they kind of pop in and out. If you just look straight ahead, it looks okay. But you still have the weird issues around the trees, and that kind of bothers me. So I really would like to enable this mod. The clouds also need to be a little less thick sometimes, a little higher. And if you notice, they kind of go in all directions at once. So that's a little weird. Like some of them are going one way, some are going the other. It's just volumetric particles gone wild. So after he addresses those things, I think this cloud mod could look really awesome. See, my frame rate's not doing too bad right now. It's pretty smooth. And, uh, and you got to you know take into account that I'm also capturing with Open Broadcaster doing H.264 encoding on the fly here, and I only have a 7970. And this game tends to favor the NVIDIA graphics cards, but I do have a 3820, so there's that. After leaving this on for a bit, it just looks so good. But there, see that? Uh, got to fix that. It'll be a lot of work. Who am I going to bother? All kinds of people. Oh, that thing looks really angry. Ah! What the hell? Oh, Spriggan. And a diseased elk. Get out of here. Ah! Spriggans love fire. Come here. 
Oh. Get out of here. Jesus. Damn, see, we got some seams up there, man. I, I love the way it looks, but, uh, man. I guess I need to donate to these clouds. Adds a lot to the game. Maybe somebody from Bethesda can help them out because these are the best clouds that I've ever seen in a game. Tell me a game that has better clouds. Just think of it without the weird issues with the texture pop and stuff. Alright, so that's it. A lot of cool mods here. I'm going to keep playing with these clouds for the, you know, turned on for a little while. I just, I just want them. I want to like them so much. They're really awesome. Water effects looking good. Yes, indeed. Really pretty, ain't it? The old lumber mill. I'm also running Clarilux, but it doesn't add too much. Let's get on there and bother them. Let me know what you guys think of the mod list. And uh, I'll see you next time. Oh, be sure to subscribe and all that crap. You know, do that.